well for me. Tujuh setengah jam lagi sampai. Hopefully I can do that. Ah. I did something unimaginably stupid. Welcome back to my study vlogs because that's all that I've been doing in the past few months and that's probably all that I'm ever gonna do in my life because I actually like studying so I'm done studying for the night I've been working on this essay that I need to submit for my application reapplication, if I may say to Oxford and I am criticizing this empirical research but since it's already 9 and I try have been trying to not go to bed as late I'm still working on that it's not working very well for me but I'm gonna take a break It's the 1st of January and I did something unimaginably stupid. I misread the application deadline for Oxford. I thought it was the 22nd of January 2022 and apparently it was the 7th of January 2022. And when I realized that I'm in a position where I needed to write four essays and I haven't written any single one of them. So I immediately wrote the first one, which I've already finished, and I think I'm gonna finish my second and third one sometime today. So I still have another six days to write my fourth one, but it's just not convenient at all. For the essays, um, I said there are four. The first one is a personal statement, which I've done a while back, so that was okay, I just needed to adjust it and personalize it so that it fits more with the UK context and then the second and the third essay is me criticizing an empirical article online um, that's related to the program which is digital and social change and so that's what I'm doing and um, the last one is an essay that I have to write for the scholarship application, which I've also done before, so I just need to adjust it a little bit to what I want to mention this time. And I can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe I did not see the right deadline. I, uh, I've also been wearing this so I could energize myself. Good morning, or actually it's afternoon. Hari ini tanggal 7 Januari. Tujuh setengah jam lagi sampai aku harus ngumpulin application buat Oxford karena deadline-nya jam 12 siang di sana. Alhamdulillah aku udah beres ngerjain semua SI-nya kecuali yang beasiswa. Sekarang Aku pengen coba cek yang essay scholarship karena aku daftar untuk scholarship OCIS. Bismillah, kita revisi semuanya one last time. I am going to submit my application inshallah. <laughs> I look through everything again <laughs> and I'm really really hungry and I want to be done with this so I can eat already so bismillahirrahmanirrahim <laughs> I did it, alhamdulillah. And the next one is UPenn and Cambridge, but I don't have to worry about that until February. So hopefully, inshallah, I can write my research. <sighs> okay, I'll see you again in the next one. See you!
I am currently in a hotel room in Turkey quarantining because I got tested positive COVID after the event and then I checked my inbox and there was an email about grad school I opened it and it was apparently an invitation for an interview with Oxford right now it hasn't registered to me because I'm still so tired and I'm sweaty the first thing I want right now is definitely a shower so I'll get to that but hopefully I can impress them Professor Winters and Professor Aiden we'll see Bismillah Hi everyone, I am currently in the dining room in the hotel room where I am currently staying in in Turkey and I am going to have a phone call with my mentor and we're going to have a simulation, an interview simulation because my Oxford interview is coming up really really soon <laughs> so we're gonna do that I just finished my interview simulation and in total there were about 15 to 17 questions that I was asked. The email did say that I don't have to prepare for anything, I just need to talk about my research and what I plan to do with it. Hopefully I can do that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna try to focus on the research based questions. Also, I just got an email that my interview is rescheduled to the 28th. That's okay. <laughs> we got this. Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. <laughs> It's a different background once again because I just got back to Japan and I am currently in my quarantine hotel in Yokohama and I have my Oxford interview in an hour I have been practicing the whole day on top of trying to get rid of my jet lag I'm just trying to <laughs> I'm trying to calm down right now you know one advice that my friend said is so, it's not an interrogation, it's an interview. Just talk to them about what you have prepared so far. And it's easy to say, but I don't want to stumble upon my words when I get really, really, really nervous. These are my notes in case they are required. And that is the view from my hotel room. That's Yokohama right there. Ta-da! It's a bit blurry, but that's Yokohama. I'm currently logged in into the interview room <laughs> so I'm just rereading and repracticing everything that I thought and there are still some stuff that I have noted down that I will be saying that I that completely slips my mind as I say them so I just hope that that doesn't happen Bismillah to achieve this, there are three steps that I will be undertaking during my time as master's student. The first is... I am very nervous. Ah! Hello. The interview is done. I don't know if I actually did well. They said that the final decision will be sent in about two weeks. So... I shouldn't, I shouldn't think about this anymore. I did my best and all I need to do is to leave it up to God. Thank you so much everyone for, for joining me in this journey. <laughs>